What is up guys, it's your boy Jimmy P back again with another edition of Jimmy P's Blu-ray Finds. We're going to call this episode the Christmas Haul. Don't have too many Blu-rays here to show you, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get a video up and show you what I did get in case you guys were curious. So without further ado, let's get started with the first Blu-ray, It Chapter 2. So the long-awaited sequel to It Chapter 2 finally dropped. And uh, it came out to uh, mixed reviews. I personally thought it was a, a great follow-up to the original, and I watched them both together in like a six-hour madness marathon. And it, it was really, really good. And I highly recommend that if you're like on the fence about it, you go back and you watch them back-to-back. -back. I know it's a huge commitment of time. Very well worth it. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Uh, based on some feedback that I've been getting, uh, people seem to like it when I actually crack them open. So uh, thanks for your feedback on all that, guys. So we're going to go back to opening them up with the plastic on. Oh my goodness, they wrap this super ridiculous. I don't like using tools and stuff on my Blu-rays and stuff too because you know you have the risk of like scratching the case and stuff like that. I wish that when they would wrap these they'd give them like a pull tab or something like that. I don't think that's too much to ask to uh, be able to get this plastic off successfully. Sometimes I wonder since you guys want to see me taking the plastic off that part of the enjoyment is me struggling so ridiculously to get this dang plastic off. Let's see what I got going on here. We gotta have some kind of a solution. All right, so I'm trying to take the zipper of my hoodie to pop the plastic. Oh, what do you know? I just found a new use for zippers. All right, so we got this bad boy finally opened up after 10 years of struggle. Comes with a lot of good special features like a making of of parts one and part two together. Deleted scenes, which I have yet to see, but I'm looking forward to seeing. All right, so what do we got going on inside of here? Pretty plain Jane on both sides. Actually, there's like no differences at all except for the DVD and the Blu-ray logo. Kind of disappointing there. But uh, if you guys haven't seen this yet and you're looking for an easy way to watch it, enjoy. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, also, you know, as I've always said before, I haven't said it in a while, so let's just go ahead and get this PSA out since it's a new year. Uh, if you do redeem the code, let us know in the comments so that other people aren't trying to do it. You know, be courteous. So yeah, that was it too. Doesn't have too much going on. I thought it was a fantastic follow-up. Has some pretty creepy stuff going on in there. Um, some people thought that it dragged a little bit because of like the people having to go find their MacGuffins, I guess you would call it in the film. You know, the, the thing that brings them together or that like helps move the plot forward towards the end game where they have to like go look for something or some kind of cursed item. You know what I'm talking about. A MacGuffin. So, yep, there's it too. Uh, highly recommend it. Enjoy that code if you get it. Let's move on to the next flick. So, next up we have Trick, which came out more recently around Halloween time. Uh, I didn't know too much about this movie. Um, I was lucky enough to be hanging out in the Gore Club Amino. Uh, shout out to my boy Johnny Deadly. He was asking about movies to screen and I had suggested this film and he actually put it on and we watched it and holy shit is this movie ridiculous. Like, it looks like they're trying to build a new franchise character here like in the vein of Freddy or Jason with this guy uh, Trick. He's like a serial killer that only comes out on Halloween and he comes in some crazy costume to Halloween parties and just decimates everyone at the party. And uh, this is a gooey, gooey treat. There are so many awesome practical effects here. And like, I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know what was, I was getting into when we started watching this movie. But within the first two or three minutes, 
uh, people are just getting killed. So you know right from there what you're getting into. And then it, the pace really doesn't stop from there. And uh, Omar Epps is in it. Tom Atkins, Jamie Kennedy. He's, yeah, he's back. But shout out to my boy Johnny Deadly for showing us this one. A freaking great flick. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Looks the same. This plastic is feeling a lot better about coming off for me than the uh, last one we had to deal with. I could be dreaming though. Oh no. We got it. We got it. We got it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh. These new Blu rays that be coming out are really disappointing me, guys. Look at this just nonsense plain Jane. Luckily I got this for like $12.96 at Walmart. I had a gift card, so uh, I just used that. So pretty much I didn't pay for this, but it's an excellent flick nonetheless. It has some pretty cool special features on it. Uh, it's just like a really long interview thing with the cast and the crew. Very entertaining. Like I said, the practical effects are super on point in this movie. It's not slow paced at all. For the price you can get it for, there's no reason not to pick it up if you like old school 80s slasher flicks. Last and certainly not least today, we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a freaking phenomenal flick by Quentin Tarantino. I went and saw this at the movie theaters. It was uh, my homeboy's birthday, and uh, I was trying to get him to go see The Dead Don't Die. And he didn't want to go see that. He's like, let's go see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And at that point, I had no real interest in going to see this at the theater. Um, I'm not a big fan of Inglorious Bastards. The Hateful Eight's pretty good, but like from that experience, I was kind of jaded on going to see Quentin Tarantino movies at the theater. But uh, it was his birthday. He got the pick. We went and saw it. Oh, thank goodness that he told me we should go see this movie because this movie is by far one of in the top three of my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. It's just a really fun, well-produced movie. It tells a story. It's got some uh, quasi-historical stuff going on in the background, but there's huge liberties taken with that. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything here because this is just a, a masterpiece of cinema really fun to watch so you should go watch this but this is the Walmart exclusive I ended up getting a, another gift card from my job shout out to the job for that so this was like 24 and I ended up paying like 14 I thought that was a good deal for this this is the Walmart exclusive it has some crazy postcards in it we're gonna open it up and see what's inside Oh, geez Louise, this one's got crazy extra plastic going on here. Okay, all right, all right. That actually turned out to not be quite so bad. Well, out of all of them, that was by far the easiest to open. That surprises me coming from Walmart. All right, so first thing we're going to do, check out some of these postcards. Okay, already seeing something here that I don't like. So these are the postcards here, and this thing is like, oh, oh okay, well, that's cool. I didn't notice that. I thought they were just plain out, and this was on top of it, but there's actually a plastic layer there. So these are limited edition postcards that only came with the uh, Walmart release. These are like shows with the main character, Leonardo DiCaprio as Rick Dalton. So this is a crazy Italian from one of the various uh, shows and movies that he'd done, Ringo Gringo. What else do we got here? 
Operation Dynamite. And on the back of these, it's like an actual like postcard type deal. That's freaking cool. We got Rick Dalton as Nebraska Jim by Sergio Carucci. A Carucci. 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 You tell let me know in the comments what that is. Rick Dalton is Joe Tanner in Tanner. <laughs> this stuff is ridiculous. This is pretty neat. Uh, I know there's like a steel book version. I know uh, another one comes with some other crazy stuff. And then this is, this one's really cool. This is like an actual rendition of the movie in the old Grindhouse movie style posters that we all know and love from the 70s and 80s. All right, now that we got that out of the way, So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with those postcards, but uh, they're pretty neat. And uh, I have all kinds of stuff like that that comes with some of these limited edition Blu-rays and other stuff that I have. And I just kind of keep them all together in a drawer. If you guys are interested, maybe I could bust that stuff out and show it to you. Just let me know in the comments. Alright, so let's open this up. We've got through the first layer. Now we got the second. Oh, that's freaking cool. So... That's the poster that's on the back. That's also on the back of the slip case. Let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. I'll give you a little. We'll go back to the. We'll go back to the bad boys right there. So this is very very easy to open up. I'm already cracked the seal. It's lovely. Alright, so, one of the uh, special editions has like an extra extended edition of uh, one of the shows that they do in there called Bounty Killer, so I need to find whatever edition that one is, Hope, or maybe it's in here in the deleted scenes or extended scenes, I'm not sure, but uh, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so, Plain Jane, as far as the background there, got some old film movie reel. They look like old movie reels, and then you got the DVD side, and you got the Blu-ray side here. Not too much going on. This is a really, really awesome movie if you're just a fan of cinema. There's a lot of dialogue in here. There's some really cool action scenes. A lot of risks taken with uh, the way that... Uh, Tarantino shot some of the scenes here but uh, if you're just a fan of film then you should check this out um, here's a code for one of you guys I do hope you take advantage of this and watch this film because it, it's truly amazing uh, one of my top five of 2019 and there you have it guys another episode of Jimmy P's Blu-ray finds we had trick we had it chapter two and we have once upon a time in hollywood all highly recommended by jimmy p let me know what you think about these in the comments let me know what you've been watching in the comments or what you got in your christmas haul i'm always curious to hear what you guys got going on um if you like the content we're putting out you know the deal lss it really really helps us out uh, for Jimmy P's Blu-ray finds, Rod of Peach Productions, look forward to more videos coming in the future. I will see you later.